You know, if there's one thing we've learned over the years about salespeople, it's that for the most part, they're pretty predictable. They talk too much, have a devil of a time hearing no, work very hard on the wrong end of the problem, which is trying to convince somebody to buy from them. If they do ask questions, they're probably the wrong kinds of questions. The list goes on. You know, they're pretty good at providing proposals, but not so hot at discovering what the real pain is and then prescribing solutions. I like the doctor and pharmacist analogy in sales. Docs make more money than pharmacists because they're good at diagnosing problems and then prescribing solutions. Pharmacists simply fill the prescription for the patient. So in sales, if you're simply letting the prospect tell you what they want, often that's called self-diagnosis, and then you're making a proposal, how much value are you adding to the, the equation? Not much. That's why these figures from the sales board are so revealing. Here's a tip. Don't even consider presenting a solution until you've done a really good diagnosis of the situation. A good doctor would find out where it hurt and why, and then make his own prescription. If you do this, you'll start to break away from the pack and make more sales.